the way, have you seen this arcade game called Nexus Coop? <laughs> Coop? Yeah. It's uh, it's supposed to be Nexus Co-op, ex ex except they spell it as C-O-O-P <laughs> with a dash. It's a chicken, uh, a home of uh, a bunch of chickens. It's actually Nexus Coop. So it's like... Ne it's like co-op, except you have all different commanders, and uh, yeah, they're re the commanders are they're really strong compared to the ones in real co-op. Let's just say the first time I tried this, I completely failed because I had no idea how anything worked. Okay, <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> Hold on. I picked uh, Tassadar. All right. Oh my God. Okay. We're in a deep commanders. Hey, Corporal Faraday. Oh, does this work again? Their activation I forgot how this works. What are you playing? Oh my god, what? We need to destroy uh, those shards. This. Wait, so what is the commander that you're playing? It's Selendus. Ooh. Okay, I so you're playing Selendus, I am playing Tassadar. We've already got some different animations and everything. I've got the Conclave, and you're saying I should go for the... I I something for Origa? The, the Orica one? Yeah. The okay. Origa one. Reduce okay, the units in the Stargate by 20% of his warping time. The scout obtains wanna... additional attack range. Okay, sounds great. You want to have the Nexus idle at uh, 130 so that the mothership warps in automatically. <laughs> Wait, what? Okay, I'll cancel this probe? Yeah. Donation confirmed. Dude, I like the warping animation quite a bit. That looks really cool. Oh, I can already make a Stargate? Oh my god, I can. So wait, uh, I had it I had it idle though. What, what, nothing happened. Oh, you you probably didn't have the mastery on. Ah, that's that's why. I did not, no. But I was that's making fine. a gateway assuming I needed to go into a cyber core and that eventually uh But none of that is happening. I can go straight into a Stargate. Ah, that's what you mean. Okay, yeah, so I have to research the mothership core. It has to be building. Yeah. Okay, so I have Zealots, Dragoons, I have a bunch of different things. Can I already go into a Fleet Beacon? Not yet, but... This is gonna be your classic oh, three-minute carrier. Oh, are you okay, by the way? Because I don't no, have any I'll units. I'll live. <laughs> I'll live. So, just to clarify, this is a... Uh, you say that, bro! I don't know! <laughs> I'll live, I'll live. Don't this is worry. a custom game mode called... Nexus Co-op, or though it's spelled as Nexus Coop. Exactly. Not quite the same thing. Okay, it's 500 minerals, 500 gas to upgrade to the Shield of Ire. Don't My get the Shield of Ire yet. You want to use the Mothership Core as a Cannon Rusher. Okay. Cannon Rush is Cannon is V. Yeah, yeah, I see that. Face Cannon. Teleports a fucking Cannon. Confirmed. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I can spawn. An Instantly. extra, yeah, warped in photon cannon that is overcharged. Yo, this is just like multiplayer. <laughs> oh my god. Is that the Chinese voice actor for. Yes. Selendis? <laughs> <laughs> I think it this is. This sounds so broken. What do you mean, dude? Oh, it's, it's a little funky. So they made a custom map as well that is much harder than the conventional co-op maps? Yeah, oh my god. Steel one. I have the classic carriers. Let's go. Sure blows up pretty, doesn't it? The enemy will summon more soon. Guaranteed. Multiple void shards are active on the field. Alright, here comes the next wave. I'll get it. Astral Wind. I have a healing ability? Okay then. <laughs> Planet Cracker! Engage. You have literal Planet Cracker? <laughs> that seems reasonable. Very reasonable. <laughs> okay, I was making carriers and stuff. I think I'm gonna save up for a moment and make a mama ship. Yeah, you wanna get your own mothership. We um, can be mothership buddies, this is great. Mothership buddy, exactly. This is a little bit better though than what I remember from the mothership core. I mean, the Mama Ship Core was pretty good, but not quite this good. Oh my god, alright. I made the Gantry Thor?! Yeah, the first, I believe the first carrier that comes out automatically becomes the Gantry Thor. That seems reasonable. Wait, you don't even need a Nexus to mine your resources? That's hilarious. 
Very balanced. Yeah, that seems perfectly balanced. Dude, this is actually pretty sick though. I can imagine that some of these missions are gonna be much too easy if the co-op commanders are this overpowered, but... Yeah, these uh, these commanders are kind of designed for soloing, not for playing with an ally. Interesting well, it's, it's to call it co-op. <laughs> I guess they called it coop. coop. Yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> it's not meant for co-op, it's meant for chickens. <laughs> You're right, it's meant for chickens who can't play regularly. You gotta peck at your monitor. Commanders. <laughs> oh, dude, my mama ship is huge. <laughs> Wormhole transit. So the, your 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 B ability is your planet cracker. You can deploy that without vision. Oh my god! Okay, planetary cracker. Warp shield of ire to planetary target high altitude orbit unleashes destructive planetary cracker to enemy units below within a wide range. Sounds yes. balanced. Yeah, sounds balanced. I'll try and use it on uh, well one of the objectives I guess when we get there. I'll just make more carriers for now. Hi enemies. Bye enemies. <laughs> I'm coming. Dude, my mama ship looks amazing though. This is a really cool looking skin. They have beautiful looking skins, yeah. For a fan made mod, this seems very high quality though. Oh well, cop, cop fans are uh, pretty, uh, well, pretty dedicated. Jeez, my units are so stupid strong. Okay. Um, I have my planet cracker in two minutes. Or nice. planetary two cracker. Minutes. Wait, your your mother ship's already dead. <laughs> Yeah, no, it was Bruce from being uh, a mothership core, and then as soon as it got to the second stage, I guess it's still. Oh well. Oh, I don't know what oh, that wow. says. I've got an ability called Galaxy Swirl, and it's in Chinese. Oh my god. Several void shards appearing on our sensors. I'm gonna go do some swirling up north. I thought I could go into Beyblade mode, but that's not the case. Oh yeah, that thing explodes. So it also deals damage. So I don't have Chrono Boost. Due to the dispute at the Conclave, Tassadar's Nexus cannot use Chrono Boost. What does it say? Hold up. Developer says, I have no idea where this soap opera plot came from. I didn't come up with such a thing anyway. Okay then. Thank you for that, developer. So wait, I can heal. Wait, I have my own healing ability. I forgot about that. Oh, there you go. I have little baby... Uh, Vortexes of my own. Yeah, if you could deal with the attack, I think you'll be fine, oh, yeah. right? <laughs> I'm, gonna deal. I'm gonna super deal with it. <sighs> Let's see. Enemies, come over here. My mother, she just wants a hug. Come over here, enemies. Jeez. Good enemies. <laughs> Alright, planetary cracker. I'm gonna just throw it over here. Yeah. So how big is it? Oh, I can't even control it? Dang. I don't need vision, I can just use it? It kills the entire objective? It kills everything. It's very balanced. It's, yeah, it's very balanced. <laughs> I sure feel powerful, but, uh... I wonder how long this is gonna be until you're like, Okay, there's absolutely zero <laughs> challenge to this. <laughs> That's why uh, the guys who play this, they usually add like dozens of mutators, or not dozens. Oh, like, right, right, right. Yeah, the guys who play this, they. they that makes a like, lot of sense, though. And obviously, yeah. since it's fan made, they can actually continue developing it and keep adding more stuff. That's the beauty of it. And we keep them back. I'm not even doing anything, by the way. <laughs> so, even the existing the ones, like, yes. that's what you were saying, right? Even the existing co op commanders. You know, that we see as well in multiplayer, like Stukov and stuff are changed? Just don't learn, do they? Yeah. Commanders, it's time to educate them. It's time to educate them. So wait, I don't nice. have warp ins at all. I have no way of warping in units. I have to manually produce them, I believe. Yeah, because uh, in StarCraft 1, right. uh, in StarCraft 1, warping in wasn't a thing. They just uh, produced them uh, 
uh, straight from the building. Yeah, there were basically barracks. Yeah. Or factories. Next wave is in 10 seconds. I will uh, give them a nice hug. I have defense. I don't know why I need a defense matrix. What's the point? I can activate it, don't get me wrong, but... Oh, my thing died. <laughs> Time collapse, warp spaces from other dimension to target area lasts for zero seconds. Story of my life. Nice. It's not what she said, but... Um, let me make some zealots, I guess. I'll just rally them over here. Oh, I'm broke. Okay, I guess I can use Dude, this my again. My ship is ridiculous. The combinations are insane. I can do some sick Wombo combos. <laughs> oh, by the way, whenever you lose your mothership, it just warps in again for free. <laughs> Very balanced. How do you even lose it? Um, I feel like this required very specific testing. Because so far, how much health does it have? It's got 2,000 health. Seems hard to well, lose. If you hero solo it with like a bunch of mutators on, that's probably how. That's true. I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna be able to. Attack. Can I? <laughs> can I teleport your units towards me? We can try. Oh yeah. There you go. Hey, I'm doing stuff. <laughs> I can get my units to the battle a little bit quicker as well. Your first. This is your first game, by the way. Yes. <laughs> That's crazy. I can't even send the probes in just for the memes. Oh no, I can't. Wait, what? what? You cannot? Oh, I can't teleport my probes. Well can I teleport oh. your probes? Oh, I. Can. <laughs> I can. Um, <laughs> I, I just teleported your work. <laughs> Wait. I don't know why I can't do mine. Are they still harvesting? Yes. Oh my god, they are still harvesting. <laughs> 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 they are still harvesting somehow. I don't really know why that makes a whole lot of sense, but that's okay. The guys who, who, who made this apparently never... Oh wow, you're using it again. <laughs> yeah, I can already use it again. This seems a little broken, man. New subscriber it, it seems very balanced, I think. We didn't do the bonus objectives, though. They oh were no. too difficult. We couldn't manage that. That's all of the void <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if it's a bug or a feature. That, Messing around with your allies seems like a perfect thing to have. Perfect, especially in this mod. There's no challenge. <laughs> okay, so currently we have Zeratul, Valerian, Emerging Emperor of the Terran Dominion. All right, we have Tosh, Henson, the Overmind. Tassadar. Oh, I have tried the Overmind. Yeah. Oh, mine seems pretty sick. Gerard, so legendary marshal. Stetman, Selendis, zero, zero. Yeah. His Subject name is zero, zero of the Jessel project. Oh, which what was that one again? I have no idea. I've never. I think it's from a a, a, a book, a Starcraft book, which oh. I've never read. No, I haven't read the Starcraft books either, but that's cool. Urzaj. The Awakened Dark Archon? Raynar? Oh, is that just Nefari. from the Enslavers series? I want to play Tessadar. Tessadar's too good. <laughs> if you're going to play Tessadar, I'm going to go ahead and play Overmind. That seems really fun. Sure. I am uh, not God, but I will break the fetters created by God and revenge. <laughs> I love the translation. That's it's great. Yeah. <laughs> so wait, you're saying I can... Oh, this is a... An additional set of mutators you can activate. So how many can you... You can just add as many as you like? Yeah, apparently. Oh, that's actually pretty sick. Okay. Tessadar <laughs> and Overmind. <laughs> yeah, Tessadar and Overmind are maybe not necessarily the best co-op team, but you know what? It's okay. Well, they become one and the same at the end of uh, uh, the uh, the fall campaign. That's true. Yeah. All right, real steel. <laughs> According to Intel's, so this is a custom map that they made. Mobius Core is assembling some sort of gigantic strategic weapon on a secret space platform. You must foil Amon's scheme by capturing this technology before they could finish their assembly. All right, I get what they're trying to say. So this is a map that someone else made? Yeah. I've never played this map before, by the way, just so you know. 
I'm excited. See what this mission is all about. Is it gonna be completely in Chinese? I, I have no. I, I wish I could tell you anything about this map, but I really can't. This There'll description can over you. here says, you know, that it I might wish be. I could read Mandarin, but I can't. Oh my god. We need more Good luck, have fun. Dude. Objective. <laughs> All right, then. Yeah, it's it's the actual overmind. I've got high frenzy. The troops spawned by the overmind will greatly increase the attack speed and movement speed within a certain period of time. That does not tell me a whole lot, but it's okay. Morph Cerebrate? So, uh, oh, I can get Zas, Dagoth, and Arak? That's cool. Yeah. Uh, I only know Zaz and Dagoth. They are from StarCraft 1. Yeah. Okay, I have no idea what Nux is saying. So Nux is one of the commanders Nux. that you can get, right, when you uh, play Tigus. And I think we've got a... Uh... Wait, do we have mutators on? No, 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 we don't have mutators on. Oh, okay. I clicked on a bunch of them, but then I clicked cancel. So I'm hoping that didn't save, because I definitely clicked cancel. <laughs> um, I don't know, I guess I'll get Zas. Zas is a bit of a chat. He is a bit of a Chad. He got assassinated Life by Zertul. Proliferation, though. dissolving acid, and fierce bomb sack. <laughs> I want to research fierce bomb sack. Increases the hunter bailing splash damage. Oh yeah, fierce bomb sack indeed. Anyways, uh, I should probably also get a yeah a spawning pool. Not enough minerals. Um, I'm trying to uh, do stuff. That seems um, like a good idea. Hive drop. I guess I get everything. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I wish I knew how this commander works. <laughs> That's okay. We'll figure something out. Oh, I get free unit out of Zas's. Oh. Is there anything here? So Zas spawns his own yeah. units? Okay, so there are expansions? Oh, that's an expansion. Okay. Real men drill deep. All right, then. Okay, so Zas is currently cleaning out the natural. That's good. I already have those upgrades. I can get Fear Shock and Hyperplasia Ablation. What? A Scourge. Th there are some names for some of these upgrades, man. I I know I've got some of them covered by the sellout bar on the stream. But not many things. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Nux is currently making a move. He's very fast. I've already cleared that area, so I think we're good. Okay, thank you. Get uh, just this. get all the upgrades, I guess. I, I don't know what that sound is. Help Nux collect equipment. Zero of three. So, I'll make some army, I guess. Yeah, I might have to get like... the other... What are they called? Uh, Cerebrates as well. Oh my... Oh, dude, they're fast! Jeez! Look at my Zerklings! That's what she said. <laughs> Look at my Zerklings, is that what she said? Nice. Yes, that's exactly what she said. That's good, man. Okay, you guys just... Okay. Oh, dude, they hit hard as well. My god. I have control of the system. Okay, So Thank wait, you. is he gonna go into the Thor? Is that what he's saying right now? I have no idea. I can drop colonies. Okay, I'll just escort the, the dude, the guy. Because I'm I have no idea what he's gonna do. This seems incredibly well made though for like a fan made custom mod. Yeah. Um, a lot of a lot of StarCraft fans, you'd be surprised how, how good at StarCraft how good StarCraft fans are at. Oh you no, know, I know. There's, there's there's like a lot of people that are more than willing to put in tons of free work. <laughs> <laughs> like Blizzard, please. There's, Blizzard, exactly. there's so many people that want to, you know, invest just their entire in. summer, you know, making free stuff for you. Anyways. Just put it in the game. Oh, what's that? Uh, there's um, something coming towards the center. Okay, I'll, I'll protect, I guess. Dude, you, you don't have the, the, Giga the, the Giga ship yet. Yeah, I'm trying to uh, I can spawn not rush it. Then. 
Is that on cooldown? Oh yeah, it lasts for like, 60 seconds. Okay. I like the cannons. They're pretty Not good. Enough minerals. Our allies are in combat. New subscriber okay, what's that attack wave? Still enjoying the content. Oh, that's a big Thor. It's going on full of rain, thank you. That's not a Thor, yeah, it's a Prometheus, a Mobius prototype. Alright. Okay. So there's three objectives in the middle of the map. He's currently collecting the equipment right over there. Okay. I've okay. captured this weapon, please. Okay. Cover me. Uh, I think my, uh... Oh my god, wait. This is a 400 mineral... Zerkling group? What in the world? Uh, okay. Random Leviathan. 500 minerals. Actually, mothership. I'm a little bit confused go. about what I'm doing, but things seem to be dying, so, you know. Yeah, that seems to be good. <laughs> yeah. it's, uh, it's a questionable strategy, maybe, but... There's something here. Is he speaking Japanese? Is he? Is that Japanese? I think it's, I think it's Chinese. That's what I would imagine, but... Okay. So I the map makers I'm... are from China. I think so. I think I'm doing an objective. Maybe Nux is an Not ultra sure. weep. That's canon. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if Nux being a, an ultra weep is StarCraft lore, but... <laughs> anything could happen. <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Am I right? <laughs> Switch to hurricane missiles. Do it. Capture the bridge control terminal. What is that? Oh my god, okay. Um, don't know if I'm supposed to be fighting here. That looks like something I want to do. Hold on. There's a lot of damage. You should definitely, if you have your giga battery thing up. Oh, you know what? We should probably try and get the bonus. See what that is all about. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll, go, I'll go there. I have no units. It's probably not helpful. Dude, my units spawn basically instantly, though, as soon as I send them in, but then they only live for a very short time. Did you spawn the Leviathan yet? Yeah, yeah, I did. But it's gone again, but it's on cooldown. Aww. Oh, I can get my next Cerebrate. Okay. Okay. He can drop Sounds a good. creep colony? Okay. Primitive breeding. Tissue assimilation. I can turn I'm this into sure a latent that... colony? Oh my god, dude, I have no idea what I'm doing. There's Tempest here, a hybrid. Okay. Nice, Scourge. Fantastic. I just dropped it in there. This seems like uh, Carrigan, or sorry, not Carrigan, Zagara 2.0. Zagara's a pretty good commander for regular Brutal. Yeah. So you have like in insanely overpowered units, but in very small numbers, and I have like a ridiculous amount of units, but they only live for a few seconds at a time. Well, I have small numbers because I'm bad at macro, so <laughs> um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, uh, yeah, conclude right away. Well, but I mean, you know, in general, that seems to be the thought process behind it. They've definitely put some thought into this mission, or into into these commanders. I have no idea what my gas drop is though, because I have a ridiculous amount of gas with no a, minerals. I think I got the bonus. Not sure. Hacking the bridge control terminal, yeah. Okay, there's a new attack wave coming through the center. Oh, okay. I'll, oh, also, uh, Prometheus is going up north. We probably need to help him out, too. Our okay. Not I'll teleport right here. Uh, I think we have to clear out this area, though. There's a mama ship. Oh, I'll... I'll, uh, I'll save my... I'll my carriers. Yeah, I'll save my... Leviathan over here. Oh, okay. I've never heard that line before. Bonus objective under assault. Yeah, I heard bonus objective under attack. Interesting. Looks like Prometheus okay. himself is also attacking, though. He deals a lot of damage. Okay, we're pushing back the army over there. Nice. I think I beat that. Just good. Dude, there's a lot of Prometheus's. Prometheusi. Prometheusi, exactly. <laughs> Oh, I can spawn them in offensively. I thought the creep colonies had to be on creep. Anti-ground unit defense structure. Can use lurking tentacles to attack. Lurking tentacle? That was my nickname in, in college. How did they know? Nice. 
That sounds like a very good nickname. Look at that. That's a lurking tentacle, right? Oh. Gotta click the channel points. Good micro, good micro. Uh, despite the fact that I don't know what we're doing, we seem to be winning. <laughs> yeah, I, I, they may have hyped this mission a little too much. What do you mean, as far as difficulty goes? Because I've never, I've never played this mission before, all I know is that they say this is hard. That's okay, it does seem pretty hard. Okay. No sight of aim on level hard now. <laughs> ah, Your favorite hard cool. mission, right? Threshold system acquired. I have no idea what that means, but I can presume that's nice. Okay, I think, I think I think it means you. yeah yeah it means that Nux is gonna move from one objective to the next. So there's an objective notification of where he's gonna go on the map, and then we simultaneously need to defend some stuff in the middle. I don't know what that's supposed to be. I th oh, this okay, is where he's I think getting his new weapons or something. So maybe if you don't defend it, he's still gonna move, but he won't have weapons. Like, it will be weaker. Um, that might be it, actually. That would be pretty sick, if that's the concept. <laughs> you understand faster than I do. <laughs> I, I don't know if that's it, but it would be pretty sick. Okay, I so have... So what I should probably do is have these things set up over here. Although I don't know... Attack the thing. Time warp. Yeah, that, that time warp ability is wild. Okay. Capture the orbital defense thingy. Are we All supposed right. to grab that bonus objective somehow, by the way? I don't know how we grab I'll go it. there. Oh, okay. I have I to just sit there. stand guys there. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know if my units live long enough for it to be... Yeah, no. I mean... Yeah. Oh, I'll, uh, I'll teleport there. Uh, Looks like the enemy is heading for us. Nope. Let's go okay, where are they coming from? I think oh, I you're on top of it. Nice. I think I was probably also supposed to make other units, but... <laughs> oh, I could make an ultra cavern. A queen nest? Allows Arak to spawn the queen? I want to see what it looks like. Ultra cavern. Dude, these units are so expensive. <laughs> 500 minerals for a group made... of points, man. I think I made Ultralisks in Hunter Killers when I played as... Um, as Overmind? Yeah, I, I think that's to... probably a good idea. I'm gonna sacrifice a few of my workers so I can get some more carriers. Whew. Uh, swirly thing. Swarm! Hey! Help Nux collect equipment. I don't know if we're winning, actually. I, I've the, it, it said help Nux collect equipment for a while now. And it's not moving. Do we need to stand there or something? Oh. Well, I can be there very quickly. Oh, there we go, there we go. Something's... Stacked on top of something else, but it says acquiring Prometheus configuration. Not it's not entirely clear, huh? Sounds like something. I did it! I did it, Prometheus! Switch to virtual <laughs> shield. <laughs> I have no idea what that means. Whoa. That's a weird looking structure. It's like a... Night is worm hatchery type of thing. Queen yeah, energy, okay. fungal growth, pressurized glands, infectious plague. Ferocious Ram. Oh, let's use this here. I don't know what it means to get on. <laughs> There's so many innuendos in these upgrades, man. Amazing. Um, uh, okay. Do you think it bugged out? Because I don't see anything happening. Yeah, anymore. I don't... Nothing's happening. It's been... The, the main objective has been stuck at 1 out of 3 for a while now. I don't know if it's because we failed to do something, or if we, uh... Yeah, a Prometheus is just kind of stuck here. Yeah, he's just standing there. I mean, we're clearing the map. Oh, oh no, he's doing something. Moving. Okay. So if this is like the conventional time, I've got a feeling that we are 
playing a pretty easy mission then. Like, if he's supposed to wait until the 20-something minute mark. So what is this then? There's a multi-function mech coming over. Like, we've already cleared most of the map. Uh, okay, I'll go intercept the one on the right, or the one on the left. Okay, okay I'll go intercept the one on the right. Yeah, I have units I can drop everywhere, so I can move around very quick. Nice. Oh, I can make defilers. I mean, <laughs> the flyer. <laughs> it says flyer for some reason. I'm not sure why, but that's okay. I'm making a bunch of them. It reminds me a little bit of the um, was the Davis mission, like General Davis, with the Balioc. Yeah. Yeah, the Balius, the Balias. <laughs> Balioc. Why did I call it a Balioc? I don't know. I haven't played that map in a while. I guess there's not that many mutation missions on that map. Okay, I think there's a red dot here which I have to kill. Oh no, it's an attack wave. Okay. Oh my god. Let's do this creep then. teleport? I have not got any creep. There's my probe. Where are those oh, coming just... from? I have defilers now. Oh my god, Yay. I have so many activated abilities. <laughs> Plague! Yay! Okay, I have a lot of energy, but nothing I can do. Firing heavy these machine gun. I don't know if you're winning. <laughs> We've cleared the map. How are we not winning? I think we kind of. Oh, are those just burrowed the flyers? Yeah, I, I burrowed them because otherwise we're gonna die. Okay. Okay, so he's coming back home right now, Prometheus man. Kills twenty four. I I haven't even seen it fight once. Our forces have met the enemy Our in allies combat. are in combat. So. Are we supposed to stand here? I don't know. Uh, if you want to stand there, you can go stand there. Yay! Complete. I'm standing. Good job. So is he gonna now idle again in our base for the next ten minutes? <laughs> I hope not. Oh wait, did we win? Oh no, that no, no. no. It says two out of three now. Uh, it says nothing for me in the top left anymore. I have assembled this Mobius weapon and I'm about to prepare for the next move. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Now it says something again. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna. Okay. It looks like it's gonna intercept something. Let me see what's over here. Okay, that's an attack wave. I'll oh use this. Oh my god. I have so many upgrades. Phantom Lisks? <laughs> oh god. Okay. I think you got it. I, I think you're. <laughs> I think you're killing that. Jeez. The fact that you can use it through the fog of war is wild. If you know it, where it you're supposed even, to go. And it's not even fog, it doesn't even need fog of war. It can sort of use it through darkness. <laughs> hey. Oh, Talk well, we up. gotta be careful though, because I don't have a whole lot of money. I'm trying to cycle through my abilities. I'm just throwing some dark swarm on things. Plague! <laughs> I don't know if plague works yeah. against these enemies, but that's okay. Destroy the prototype mech of the Mobius. Okay. Oh, we won! We did it! We <laughs> I don't know we what we did, mission. but we did it! I think it's like a party parcels type of thing. Yeah. Ow! Stop shooting my carriers! Ow! Ow! Wait, Sagara? Where did. Z huh? The only thing they have to do is add a Donnie Vermillion commander. Then this mod Donnie is perfect. basically complete. It's perfect, yeah. Anyway, I have to fetch my girlfriend. <laughs> okay, okay. All right, all right. She might be, yeah. I'll, I'll see you next time. This will right, be fun. Man. That was fun. Yo, let me know when you want to play again. Sure. So I either want to play Valeria next or Tosh. I think I'm going to go with Valerian because he literally has birds. I want to figure out how to make a bird. The only problem is that now I'm, you know, by myself. But, you know, judging by the strength of these commanders so far, I think I'll probably be fine. I'm going to go ahead and do... Um, 
What's an easy mission? Void threshing is usually quite easy, yeah. Okay, so I'll try and solo with Valerian on Void Threshing. I start with a Planetary Fortress, as well as a Dominion Science Facility. Oh my god. Look at, look at the portrait. <laughs> Planetary Defense Missile, Korhal Satellite, Thunder Aquila, and Hill Korhal. Alright then. So, wait. Who's that? Imperial... Wait, I've got like a... Really? Imperial Elite Engineering Vehicle ready? I've got like my daily updates right over there at the top of the screen. Can I control this? No, no, no. I cannot control this Nexus. I think that's just to make sure that I don't take the main base from my ally. Or at the very least, if I do, I'd have to... Destroy it first. Okay, so I have efficient gas mining. And it's an automated refinery, so that's pretty sweet. Uh, I'm sure you don't need that, right, bro? What? Okay. Yeah, please protect that gas guys, of mine. I appreciate you. Um, I have this. I don't know what it does. Wait, it was shot by my planetary? No, 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 no. It's coming from out of the map somewhere. Well, butter my biscuit. I think we probably need to, in order to get birds. Maybe this is the bird. Oh, it's probably this thing. Yeah, yeah, The storm eagle. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say, in order to make birds, I probably need to go to Battlecruiser Tech, but that's not what's going on. Okay, I've got a factory coming up. I don't seem to have a barracks or anything like that. So, we'll have to make a bunch of those. Can I fly with the command center? Okay, no. I was thinking about making an extra command center early, but that might not be ideal. Okay, I'll get a tech reactor. The squadron, the sentinel, the aurora. The Kraken? Kraken prototype, that is. And the Korhal Fortress. <laughs> Alright, I'll make an armory too, I guess. My god, these structures are very glowy, aren't they? Uh, I guess I'll make a squadron first. Oh, okay. I really need a squadron really fast. Can I make one more squadron? We'll make a round of squadrons, chat. Always important to have those available. I can deploy the Zeus as well from this screen right over here. Oh! Wait, it appears where I have my rally point? Okay, yeah, so I have to plan in advance where those attacks are gonna be going. Because they're not instant. Uh, 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 uh. Alright, we need to go to the center. I'm gonna go ahead and deploy the Thunder Aquila. <laughs> Whatever that is. The Bert! Oh. Dude! Oh my god. That is so sick! I'm sending a lot of missiles over in this direction. There we go. I now also have access to Hill Core Hall. Fires an eye on Chris or Kennen. All right. Oh my God! I made these things. Wee! That seems fun. Someone just whispered me, GG. Okay then. Don't know who that is. Uh, 
Are these like widow mines? Maybe they're like widow mines. I'm gonna make some auroras instead. Uh, I'll try and deploy a hill core hall, I guess, right over here on the left side. Burrow! Burrow! Bro, these things suck! What? <laughs> okay, I'm probably using them wrong. That does not seem correct. What did I just get? Alright, extra upgrades. I'm trying to make some of these other units. So can I use this through the fog of war? Oh my god. Whoa. Okay, the only problem is I don't really have an army. I feel like that might be useful. I'm not really familiar with this game, right? I've played only a couple hours of StarCraft, but uh... Got a feeling that having an attacking force might not be a bad idea. This commander doesn't seem nearly as overpowered, though. As some of the previous ones that I've played. I'm probably just playing it wrong. Kraken prototype. I need to find a unit that's actually good. I also really need to get my Natro going, because otherwise I'm in a little bit of trouble. Oh my god. Pretend where they, or predict where they're gonna be! No, no. It's fine. No panic. Just a little concerned for the main objective, that's all. Don't worry, I've got my Thunderbird ready to go. Oh, I need vision. Okay. Thunderbirds, assemble! I gotta wait until I get my Thunderbirds going. Oh, I can deploy a, a satellite like that? What am I gonna do though when my Thunderbird runs out? Oh my god, what's this? <laughs> what is going on? Dude, these things are so expensive. Yeah, so I don't have any way of actually defending this because I don't have an army. Seems like the units that I made so far were not particularly good. Now my Storm Eagle is gone as well. Maybe trying to solo a mission that you are playing with an unfamiliar commander is not ideal. All right. Take two. Man, am I glad to see the two of Love the music that plays when you start the game off with Valerian. All right, here's the goal. I'm going to try and make more than 20 supply worth of units this time. It's not going to be easy, but I will try. I'm going to try and, like, not make the shitty units as well. I'm going to try and actually make the good units. Yeah. I do not see the rift over yonder yet. So, well, I guess I see it now. Um, I also plan on taking out my allied base. Don't know if that's a great idea, but I think it's probably better than uh, trying to expend over here. Because I don't get any of their money or anything along those lines. So it's 100 gas to make the unit producing structure. It's quite expensive. How many? Wait, what? Oh, I got so much supply for just one of those depots. I'm now at <laughs> 18 out of 43. Okay. As soon as I have 100 gas, I'll try and make one of those production structures. And then I'll make, I guess, mostly the first unit and then that big cannon thing that we saw. I did also make the units with the, the mastery points more powerful. And the Thunder Aquila, I guess, is going to be a little bit less powerful now. But that's okay. Seems like it will still be able to just... Murder everything anyways. Oh, actually. 
Executor is saying, Loco, don't you lose when your allied buildings are all gone? Yes. Yes, I do. <laughs> You're very right. I don't know if this structure technically counts as an allied unit, but I'll skip the... Yeah, I'll skip their base in that case. That's a great suggestion. So what exactly does this do? Providing vision and detection, it can send out a satellite scan pulse to provide buffs. Okay, so I just plant this, and then units that fight within that circle are more powerful? Ooh. And this thing can have a pulse, which it uses automatically? Oh shit, it's 300 minerals. Okay, so I want to be pretty strategic with where I position those things. What can I do for you? So does this really make things that much better now? Bro, it does nothing. Maybe when the pulse is going on. Oh, I can also directly target enemy units. Oh, wow. Okay, that's not something I realized. Okay, I'm gonna get my uh, rocks knocked down over there and then I'll make a natural here in a second. I'll use the, the Thunderbird in a moment. Okay. So it doesn't really seem like you need to dodge a whole lot on the Storm Eagle guy. Because he does a ridiculous amount of damage anyways. <laughs> okay. Looks like I can actually take another base now. That's nice. I'm actually gonna try and go to the next objective right away. So I don't know how I got it to stick to a unit earlier. Okay. This ought to be good. I tried. I tried sounding cool. Didn't do a very good job, now did I? Anyways, um... I don't know, should I be making Kraken prototypes? They seem pretty fun. All my units seem kinda... Kinda low in HP though. Other than the bird. Like, look, look, look how quickly they all die. Yo, you guys all suck, man. These are like massive looking marines. Even within that circle, I don't seem to do too much. Okay. I'm probably forgetting one of the core mechanics of this commander somehow. So I also have the Zeus over here, which I should probably be paying attention to. I have this structure. Deploy Zeus at the targeted area. Okay. Oh. Is this a permanent unit that I get? If it's a permanent unit that I get, that might actually make things quite a bit better for me. Oh, that might be the main mechanic I'm missing out on here. Okay, I'm gonna see chop my Kraken prototype. Oh my god. Dude, it still seems mediocre at best though. But don't worry, the Thunderbirds are back. Okay. 
I don't feel nearly as powerful though as I did with Tassadar. Somehow. So this definitely seems to make them a little bit weaker, but... Okay, I can teleport the bird all the way back home, but sadly, uh, not as good. Increases all Dominion units damage by 10%. Okay. Coral satellites become permanently cloaked. Structures within range of a satellite gain 50% more operating efficiency. Okay. Wait, you never killed that? Huh? Did I teleport you somehow as well? Okay, so I have a Zeus and I've got a Core Hall Fortress. A little bit different. Ah. Thought I killed this already. Um, I'll make I'll make these core hall fortresses. That's these big boy Thors. Oh my god, they're they're in a disco as well. The portraits are a disco, anyways. Okay. Maybe we're supposed to be going for our, a lot of these stores. There's 750 minerals each though. 10 supply <laughs> each as well. But I guess every depot gives me like 20 something supply, so... This looks like a legit army now though. I don't really understand the... The mechanic for the satellites very well. They're all very big. So... That is the research level 2. I don't know if these count as Dominion units. I'm assuming so. Okay. So these guys don't really have any other modes either, right? I'm not feeling too confident about this run at all, guys. I just don't have enough units. And the units I do get are not very good. My bird is gone. How in the world am I ever going to kill the final objective? Um, I think I need to get my core hall fortresses out. They're 500 gas each. Sending some of them back. Okay, big boy over here still going to town. Oh, shit. Yo, there's a huge attack wave all of a sudden. Oh, Tesla Warhead? Zeus gains a Tesla Warhead effect? Okay, that seems good. Uh, let's send a couple SCVs over here to hopefully repair. I think it's probably something to do with this Core Hall Satellite effect. I think I should probably just try and... I think I should probably just deploy those when I'm in the middle of combat somewhere. So before we move up to the next area, I'll try and use one of those. 
Okay, we should be getting quite a bit more gas now. Still only have this army though, this is all I have. I guess we will have a bit of time. Oh! Wait, there. that's not high impact mode, it's mobile mode. So they can't move when they're in that mode, but... Oh shit, I also have tech lab upgrades. No, none of these are the Thor upgrades, though. Arcadia or Arcadia Squadron? I can get the Squadron upgrades, I guess. I think that's the basic units. Which might not be a terrible idea. Yeah, so now these are all upgrades for my other units. Not for the Thors. So those are gathered, I guess, in the armory. Dominion Research Level 2. Where do I get that? The void are on the Is there another structure that I can get? Fusion core. I need to make a starport as well, I guess. All right. Do -do 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 -do. I'll be much obliged. Okay, I'm gonna put one of those things over here. Call in the Thunderbirds. Put them in their different mode. There's an attack wave currently coming towards my base, but don't know if that's a problem. Hello. That was weird. Oh god, that's a huge wave. Are you guys doing anything? Hello. Oh, it's the same button for them to unseach and for them to s no. Uh. How do I how do I detect? Is this a detector? Oh yeah, it is. It is. It is. Okay. I'm slow pushing with a device I don't really understand, but that's okay. Where's Big Boy Thor? You're a detector, man. There's Big Boy Thor. Okay. Nearly there. Got my heal core hall ability. Don't really know what it does. Again. But that's okay. Seems entirely optional. I've got the what? The Pulse Barrage. Nuclear Strike, which I don't have access to. Okay. Not a lot of HP anymore on the Fortress, but... My Natural is currently under attack, but I don't really have the resources to... Oh, Blinding Clouds? Really, guys? <laughs> The AI is getting sweaty about it. One more! Losing my natural, losing my main. I might be in some trouble. I don't know what happens if my ally actually loses that structure. Did I get it? So, my ally still has a structure up, but that one doesn't count as a structure. <laughs>